Uh, all right, guys, some quick before I actually show you the godly effect in this video and how you can do it on both DaVinci Resolve and After Effects, I just want to quickly mention the sponsor of today's video, which is F Custom. F Custom is a clothing brand that provides you with top tier quality of custom clothing products. For example, I did just pick up this hoodie. It is super clean. It's got the black and red design. It's got the Joshi text on both the front and back as well as double zeros. And if you guys are interested in picking up your own custom hoodie or jersey, make sure to head on to the top link in the description and the pinned comment. And also be sure to use code Joshi with two Y's at checkout for 10% off your order. But with that being said, I'm going to hop into the Wormall tutorial. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. We're super close to 40K at the time of recording this video. Each and every subscription I get from you guys means a ton to me and it helps me get closer to my goal. But with that being said, as always, all the links to the plugins and presets will be in the description as well as the timestamps if you want to skip ahead to those. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright guys, so we're in a brand new DaVinci Resolve project right here. We can see that our project settings are at 1920 by 1080 60 FPS. All you're going to want to do is just make sure you have all the stuff that we're going to need. We have the sound effects. We have the wormhole that we're going to be using. I'm going to be using a different wormhole because this is a paid wormhole. I will have a different one linked in the description if you guys want to use that one, but I can't leak this one because it is a paid overlay. I also have the clip here. I have my song here, and then I have the bass drop. So the first thing we want to do is just drag in our song, trim it down to the part we want to use. So for me, it's going to be right up here. And what we're going to want to do with this song is right before the beat drop we're going to find this part where it says thinking out loud right here we're going to just trim it right there and we'll bring this over just a tiny bit and from here we're going to find our beat quickly and we're just going to do the fading out of our audio let's just say this is where we want our beat keyframe it at zero percent volume go one two three four five extend it out that distance and then keyframe the volume at negative 20 right here and that'll fade the volume in and then we'll do the exact same thing right here we will go right about here keyframe the volume go one two three four five then what we're going to want to do is we're just going to get our clip and we're going to shift these down audio tracks so this can actually fit in and then we are actually going to find the part that we want to have it so we're going to cut the clip right about here. So I want my thing to happen right here. I want my uh, mask to happen right here. So we're going to add a marker there, extend it out this one. And then so what we're going to do, we can see our B is right here. So I'm going to add a marker to this. We're just going to find the part that we get the kill. So right about here should be good. We're going to cut it. We're also going to trim the clip on this beat right here. And then we're going to just line it up with the marker just right about like this, just like that. And just like that, what we're going to want to do right here is we're just going to extend this. Actually, one, we're going to get rid of the audio part just like this should be good. Just like that. So we have this one extra frame right here, like we can see that we're going to cut it just like this. And we're going to right click on it, go to read time controls, go to this black arrow and change this actually to a freeze frame just like this. And then we're actually going to drag this just so it doesn't mess up our video. And then just like that, we can see that we have a nice freeze frame from there. Click on it, go into your color tab. And what you're going to want to do with this being selected, just click on this little pen tool and you're just going to mask out this thing. I'm just going to increase the speed just because I don't want to take up too much time. So I'll see you guys once I fully just clicked around my character and masked it out. Alright guys, just like that, I have masked out the entire thing pretty much. It's not the best, but at the same time, it's not the worst thing ever. We're going to add a output, output just like this, and then just connect the blue dots right here. And what it does is it makes it transparent like we can see. We can see it's transparent, but it's not looking too good uh, just because we didn't really spend that long on the mask. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in my wormhole. You guys are going to use this one down here, uh, something like this one, if you guys want to end up using it which is a free to use one. I'll have that link down in the description, but I'm gonna be using this one right here. We're actually going to drag this up a few video tracks just so we have some space to work with, just like this. And I'm gonna actually drag this one down to the very bottom one just so we have uh, some working space to actually work with this. We're just gonna trim it down just like this. So we can see that it has this little wormhole right here. Nothing too crazy. Just make sure you have a bit of a slow-mo on this. So just, you can change it to maybe like a 50%. Just like that, you pretty much have a nice little time remapped portion after the actual wormhole. But what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna add a transition between this little, um, the actual clip and then this wormhole. So for here, we're just gonna go into our fusion tab and then you're just going to bring up the presets that I have right here. So uh, transition just drag in that preset right there. I'll have a link in the description. All these presets will be in the description. Drag it in just like this, connect it. And we should see that we have our keyframes, but they are a bit offset. So just get rid of these keyframes right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keyframe our shake to one 
right here the amplitude to one on the uh transition right here just in the transitioning point go one two three four five frames back change this to zero go to the middle point go one two three four five six seven frames to the side change it to zero again that way we have a nice little transition for the actual shake so it shakes nice little y shake again like i said we will have that linked in the description and then this bcc directional blur just unkeyframe it again just because the keyframes are messed up and for the keyframing of this just make sure it's at 101 directional blur make sure the angle is on 180 which it should be by default with the preset keyframe it at 101 go one two three frames back keyframe it turn it all the way down to zero and then we can go one two three frames change it to zero just like that we should have a nice little directional blur shake transition just like this boom you see it does a nice little shake just like that all you're going to want to do from there go into the fusion tab of the clip itself of this mask and we're going to drag in the wormhole character one preset just like this which is psycho stripes and scan lines you should see it changes our thing looking like this don't worry it's not really messing anything up. It looks really weird when you're in a, the actual uh, fusion tab just because it does this whole image. From there, compound clip it. Go like this, go back into the fusion again. This time, drag in the wormhole two character uh, preset just like this and then connect this. I'm gonna get rid of my keyframes menu because it's kind of blocking everything. And then you can add the second one. And what it'll do is it'll add the rays. It'll add the color switch. It'll add the glitch, all that stuff and pretty much you have a full-on character glitch little color switch i don't even know how to describe it but it looks super cool already and then from there just add an adjustment clip to where we get the kill trim it at the very end of the clip cut it down you can just add in any impact i'll have an impact linked in the description if you guys want to use that like i said i did drop an edit pack so i got a ton of impacts in there if you guys want to pick that up then we're just going to drag that out have that just like this nice impact there we can see that it just goes like that super cool looking and all we got to do really is add our sound effects to make it a lot more immersive i will have these linked in the description as well so drag in your thunder sound effects trim it down just a tiny bit and what we're going to do is we're going to do what we did with the music we're just going to trim it down we're going to find the point where they transition to the actual next clip keyframe at zero go one two three four five to the side change it to negative 20 just like this then go back over here zero one two three four five negative 20 just like that and then trim the points down to uh, where the keyframes are so it goes like this but yeah that's pretty much it for the actual uh build up effect super cool in my opinion a lot of people were asking how i did it in my timber montage so i thought i'd show you but yeah that's pretty much it for the effect i'm going to move on to the after effects version with that being said i hope you guys did enjoy make sure to like comment subscribe if this helped you out like i said all the plugin links will be in the description for this you need the bcc plugins you need the universe plugins for the glitch and you need the sapphire plugins so make sure to pick those up if you guys don't have those already those will be in the description as well as the presets and now i'll be moving on to the after effects portion so i'll see you guys if you're still Sticking around for that. Alright, guys, so I'm in a brand new After Effects project. Uh, I got my composition setting set to uh 1920 by 1080 60 FPS, just the standard, you know. Uh, just make sure you have all the stuff you're gonna need the clip, the uh, wormhole. I am using a different wormhole, like I said. I mentioned in the DaVinci tutorial, I am using a different wormhole than you guys because this is a paid wormhole from a uh, website called productioncrate.com. If you guys want to get a membership to that, they have super good sound effects, they have super good visual effects. Uh, but yeah, this wormhole's from there. I can't leak it because it is paid unfortunately but i will have a free one linked down below for you guys to use uh, the first thing you want to do just make sure you drag in your clip so i cut the video right down to where i want the audio to almost start to fade out so right here is about where we want this wormhole to come in so we're going to want the wormhole to come in we're going to go one frame to the right right here we're going to cut it right here this is going to be our freeze frame this part in the middle and then we're just going to skip ahead to where we actually get the kill right here we're just going to cut that down get rid of this and then we can see that we want it to go like this that's going to be a freeze frame it's going to last i'm not too sure maybe 90 frames should be fine so we're just going to go like this we're going to go to freeze frame and we're just going to go about 90 seconds forward we're going to get the kill bring that down below just like this and we are going to actually drag this out just so we can line up the actual kill so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're just going to mask this so just click on the layer right here the freeze frame get this pen tool and we're just going to honestly zoom in and i'm going to speed run this mask uh, i will skip ahead in the video so you guys don't have to watch me do this but uh, i'll see you guys once i am fully done masking the outside of my character
All right, so it honestly could have been a lot better, but uh, this is what we ended up with. All we're going to want to do, just drag in your wormhole underneath for me. It's going to be this one right here. I'm actually going to time remap it just to give us a bit of an extra cool effect. I'm just going to select it, press Control alt T. I'm going to drag this above the actual kill. And we're just going to uh, add a keyframe at this point right here and drag it down to this point and just delete this portion. Select these keyframes, press F9, and then just do the basic time remapping graph. So I'm just like, this should be good. Slow and then accelerate, but nothing too crazy. And all we got to do from there, really, I'm going to add sound effects last, but all we got to do is click on our mask right here, go to apply animation preset, and we're going to add our uh, character preset that I'll have linked in the description. This is the exact same preset I used in my timber montage. So if you guys want to do that, I highly 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 recommend doing that uh, all we got to do now control alt y on our keyboard delete these portions right here so once we have this adjustment clip right here just press uh animation up here go to apply animation preset and apply the transition and then from there just press u on your keyboard and line these up just like this what it should do is it should be a nice little uh, shake just like this with a uh, directional blur but yeah that's pretty much that all we got to do is add sound effects uh, so as we can see the song fades out right about here so this is our transitioning point so we're just going to add the thunder sound effects um in right about here we're going to go to our levels negative 20 right here five frames after make this zero and then right here we can copy paste these keyframes over here and just flip them around so make the negative make this uh this zero right here and then make this negative 20 so it goes like this and then we can't just copy these drag in the sci-fi sound effect cut it right about here cut it right about here and since it's the exact same length we could just paste it on nothing too complicated but once you actually get to uh, editing with after effects more frequently these are going to be a lot easier to use and you will be able to complete them a lot quicker and then like i just said too as well just adjust that but yeah like i just said uh that's gonna be it for the video i showed you how to edit the nicest build up for your actual over editing montage just like my timber montage i hope you guys did enjoy let me know if you guys want to see more dual platform over editing tutorials in the future on the channel and as always like comment subscribe if this video helped you out and i'll see you guys later peace out